guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and by popular demand, I am bringing you kind of my take on what I like to call the best spaghetti squash ever. Now I know it's the new year and a lot of people, including myself a little bit, um, we are trying to kind of like lay low on the carbs throughout the week, but if you are anything like me, I need something to soak up juices, something to put underneath sauces, something to just give me texture uh, and to be a replacement for maybe rice or pasta just a few times a week. I got no, 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 no shame in my game. I love me some pasta and I cannot cut it out of my life, but this is a great alternative for a couple times a week as a side dish. It's the best. It's really, really flavorful, so good. And if you follow me on my vlog channel, which you should if you don't, then you know that I make this very often and I also make a ton of different spaghetti squash recipes um, because I just love the texture of it so much. And it's been requested on that channel a lot that I share with you kind of how I like to prepare it because I'm someone that needs flavor because it's got great texture. So this is my way and it's super easy and simple, requires a few ingredients. The first thing, of course, is your spaghetti squash. Uh, mine is about two pounds, it's on a smaller side. And then I also have some butter chopped up parsley, a lot of garlic. This is granulated garlic and Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and olive oil. That is it. Now I need to cook the, the spaghetti squash ahead of time. Mine is still raw, I haven't cooked it yet because I want to describe to you how I like to do it. You can do one or two ways. You can pop it in your oven at 375 for about an hour and a half, an hour and 15 minutes, depending on the size of the spaghetti squash. And you'll, you'll know it's done when your knife kind of goes in and out without any effort, really easy. But you can also do it in a much quicker way, which is the way I like to do it, and it's in the microwave. Now, whichever way you choose, whether it's the oven or the microwave, you need to take your knife and just kind of make a few slits like so on the top in a few different places. It's a little hard to do. You have to kind of wiggle your knife in and out. As you can see, to me, that's the safest way to do it. And you want to do that so that your spaghetti squash won't explode pretty much. So make a few slits all around the top. Now that this is ready, I'm going to pop this into my microwave and it's probably going to take around 10 to 12 minutes for a two pounder. If it's any bigger than that, it might take up to about 20 to 25 minutes. Again, you want to test it and I'll show you kind of my test method when the knife just literally goes in and out without any effort, you know it's done. However, you don't want to put this in there for so long that it becomes mushy because you want those strands to be separated. You want some texture there. So this will be in there for about 12 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. And you want to let it cool for about 15 minutes before you handle it because it will be super hot on the inside. So I'm going to pop this in, let it cool for a few minutes and then we'll proceed. My spaghetti squash was in the microwave for 12 minutes exactly. And I want to show you, you see how it's still it's still holding its shape, like the skin is not kind of indented and really soft. That's crucial so that you get really good texture. And when you put your knife right in, it'll come out really, really easy. But again, the, the outside is really still quite firm. That's how I know, that's a good indication for me that tells me, you know what? It's perfectly cooked on the inside and it's good to go. Now, I need to cut this in half because I need to get all the inside out. So. I have let this cool for a few minutes, but I will not lie to you when I tell you it is still really hot. So a normal person, a more patient person, <laughs> might want to let this cool completely or at least cool enough to handle, but we know each other and I, you know I have absolutely no patience. And with the top right here, it can be quite hard to put your knife in there and cut it perfectly. So what I do is I just do it like so. And you can see the threads are separated, perfect. So I hope that that helped a little bit. And now I'm going to just take a spoon and I'm going to scoop out the very center, all the seeds and whatnot. Actually, I'm going to put this into a smaller bowl because that'll be the bowl I'm going to put my shredded spaghetti squash in. And now because my spaghetti squash is really still quite hot, I like to put it in a clean kitchen towel just, just to hold it. And then you take a fork and you just shred it like that. And that is perfect. You can see it's still perfectly separated, it's not mushy, I can tell. I have no patience for this towel. I'll just risk burning my hands. <laughs> um, you can see that the, sh the threads are separated and that's what I want. I don't want mushiness, I want texture. Do the same thing to this one. Get everything out of there. Ooh, it's hot though. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna set this aside because at this point, the spaghetti squash is ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. 
my skillet, high side, really important. I'm gonna put in a little bit of butter. It makes a really wonderful, flavorful sauce. And a, just a drizzle of olive oil. Not a lot, I like the combination of the two. I like the flavor it gives me. And now I'm just gonna cook this until the butter melts. Now this is two pounds, and for me, for moi, this dish would feed six people as a side perfectly. Four people, if you're using it kind of like as a base for pasta with some salsa on top, this would feed four people really well. But it's all going to depend on the size of your spaghetti squash. Some of them are like six, seven pounds, in which case they could feed, you know, a good eight to probably ten people as a side dish. It all depends. So just kind of keep that in mind whenever you are making this. I like to make a big batch of it because even though it's just Joe and I, I like to keep it in the fridge because it makes for great sides for a quick weeknight supper, so it's perfect. My butter is pretty much melted. I'm gonna add my garlic. You can add as much or as little as you want, and I make so many variations of this, it's not even funny. This is my most go-to because it's my basic, but because I love the method so much, if I'm doing a Tex-Mex meal and I want it to kind of go with that, you could do cilantro and lime, you could do scallions, you can do so many different things. Thumbs up this video if you like spaghetti squash and I will give you more variations because it's a great substitute. I'm going to let this simmer for, simmer, sizzle for just about a minute and then we'll add our next ingredient. I'm going to add my garlic and most of my parsley and I'm going to add that right along with my spaghetti squash. And all I want to do is coat all of this into this beautiful, flavorful mixture. Give that a good stir like that. I'm going to add just a splash of water that will cook out. Do not panic. A good seasoning of salt and pepper, necessary, especially salt. It really makes everything kind of come alive. Give that a really good pinch. And then just take a pair of tongs, whatever you got. I do prefer using tongs so I can kind of keep things separated. And give everything a really good stir and let it simmer and sizzle together for about three minutes, I'd say. And you're pretty much done. And that is done. Smells fantastic. You could add Parmesan cheese to this if you wanted to. It's making my mouth salivate. It'll be absolutely delicious but because I like serving it alongside things like chicken piccata, saltimbocca, that's got kind of like a lemony sauce, I don't want it to compete so I just keep it as is because I find that it's more I guess all purpose, multi-purpose or whatever you want to call it, um, but I like sprinkling a little bit of cheese if I'm kind of having it with some sauce or something, you have to, my opinion anyway. It is so beautifully cooked. I love this. I hope that this inspires you to pick up a spaghetti squash. Give it a go. It really is just a fantastic, like, new, trendy. I don't know if it's new, but I know I've been getting a lot of requests for it because it's a great alternative to any starch. Uh, just a little more of parsley for some a touch of freshness. I'm going to give this a try because I love, I mean, I already know I love it, but... It smells so good. The garlic and the parsley and those the Italian seasoning blend is phenomenal. Mm. Just Joe and I for dinner, so I can I can go in back for seconds. Do you hear the texture? That to me is vital. I do not want it mushy. I want texture. Mm. Mm. You will love this. If you have your own method of cooking spaghetti squash, share with us down below. I would love to read your method, or even if you have your own flavor concoction that you like with it, please leave your suggestions down below for future videos, including spaghetti squash. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you enjoy spending time with me. Go to laurainthekitchen.com and we'll have everything written for you step by step. I hope you recreate it. If you do, make sure you share a picture with me on social media so that I can see your recreation. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.